using some flannel, elastic pins, scissors, and an older pair of pajama shorts, we're gonna be making our own pajama shorts. So for these no pattern pajama shorts, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your fabric and fold it in half. You're gonna be taking your older pajama shorts. These are what we're gonna be using to base off the pattern pieces or our size. And you're going to lay them out onto your fabric and then cut around them to get the pattern shape. You'll then repeat this a second time so that you can get both legs of your pajama shorts. Once you have the two cut out, you're gonna take a seam down that leg and seam. So you're gonna pin those together so that you're able to take a straight seam down. So here's the completed seam. You can see I did it for both legs of my pajama shorts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to basically combine these together and sew that crotch seam. So we're going to be folding one of our pajama legs right side out and then with right sides together, pinning these up along that crotch edge of our pajama shorts so that we can take that full seam across. So for this seam, I did it first start out with a straight stitch and then I changed it to a zigzag stitch to kind of give it a little bit more of a reinforcement as well as to be sure that when I go to wash these to give it just a little bit more chance of not unraveling. Once I had that seam done though, I pulled my pant leg out so that I would have the pants inside out and it was time to then start working on the next step. So this would include a hem as well as hemming the bottom for the shorts themselves. Before I did all of that though, I did take my pinking shears and I cut all of the seams that I had to get rid of some of that extra fabric. And this also will help that when you wash it to ensure that the seams and fabric doesn't come unraveled. Once I had that done, it was time to start working on the hem as well as the elastic waistband at the top. So I wanted to make sure you wouldn't be able to see any of the raw edges. So I am going to fold this over once and then fold it over again to create that loop for the waistband to go into. So the first step was doing a hem around the top so that I could make sure that there would be no raw edge. Next, I measured out about an inch and a quarter down and pinned this all the way around as this would be where my elastic would be going into. So I'm gonna be taking that seam, but I'm gonna be leaving about a two inch gap so that I'm able to loop the elastic through. So I just went all the way around my shorts, making sure that it was all an inch and a quarter to make sure that it was done neatly. And then I'm going to leave that small opening so I'll be able to loop through my elastic. So here are my shorts so far completed. So now it is time to add the elastic into the waistband. So you can measure out how big your waist is, however much you want, and then you're gonna to wanna to subtract about an inch or two from that measurement. Then using a safety pin, what you're going to do is start to loop your elastic through your waistband. So I have my safety pin here, and I'm just going to push it through that waistband portion of my shorts. Then take a straight seam across the elastic, and once that is all done, I will then be taking a seam across the waistband to close it off. So now it's time to work on the hem of the short legs. So the way that I did this was very similar to the waistband. I did a rolled hem. So I went through and did the first hem and then I folded this up. It was an inch or so, maybe like a half inch. And then I repeated this for both sides of my pants. And now I'm just gonna take a straight seam all the way across. So now that the hem is done for both shorts, I just need to trim up some of these extra threads and get rid of those. But then the final step I'm gonna do is I decided to add a really fun little red ribbon onto the waistband portion and I just sewed this on so that it'd be complete and a cute little touch. And here are my completed shorts. I love how they turned out. There's no raw edges and if there are, we have it sorted out in a way that you didn't need a serger. If you love this video and you wanna see more, be sure to like and subscribe.